Hey guys, middle of the week, it's Wednesday. It's time to get going on this thing. So uh, thanks for all the great comments and, uh, and the great feedback. So my goal today is to get this thing completely done, sprayed, sanded off. And then the last video on this project is gonna be on Friday when we're gonna do the, uh, the finishing on this. So um, anyway, so what we've got, where we left off on Monday, is we've got to go in and we've got to kind of clean up these areas. Now one thing that I want to do because of this this kind of deal and this being fragile, I want to have all of my work done in here before I start cutting on the outside. So once it's cut loose, I don't want to have to go back into here. So I want to get all of this done first before I cut I do our uh, cut on the outside. So we uh, we still have the bit. I put another piece of foam down. So you guys saw I kind of cut through the foam on that last one. So I put an extra piece of foam down and uh, got my cutter set accordingly. So we're gonna put on our face shield. Not that we really need it, but that's all right. I kind of like it. I kind of like the, I like to be a spaceman. And we're gonna put our ears on because this is really loud when we start cutting on the outside here. So Vicki and I will both be wearing our ear protection. So it won't be loud in here now because um, because there's you know most of the wood is gone. So, but let me turn this around. And can you see that okay, yeah. babe? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's get this going. Again, guys, if you're not used to doing this, you can see I was really careful. All I'm trying to do in here is just kind of smooth up these lines. If you're not used to doing this, you know, pay extra special attention. By the way, you could do all of this in two or three passes. You don't have to do it full depth like I'm doing on this one. Um, you could make it in two or three passes, and that would be safer than having that thing sticking three quarters of an inch out of the bottom of that base. So um, so now what I need to do, I've got that smoothed up the way I want it. Now I need to take my little router and um, I need to get these little pieces out of there. I'm just gonna use my 60 degree. Normally for this operation, I would be using my 90 degree, but in this particular instance, uh, I, there's hardly anything there. I'm just gonna use my 60 degree and I'm going to set it down, oh, somewhere around a quarter of an inch, something like that. Not quite that deep. That's one of the things I'm not that crazy about this rigid router. I like the way it cuts, but the whole depth adjustment, nah, not a big fan. But anyway, I'll make it work. I do like the way it cuts, so this this it really is a cool little router. 
Just I wish they had a little bit different uh, depth adjustment on it. All right, so now I've got one more operation that I have to do in here. Because those, these tabs, I want those to be black. I don't want those to be the same surface or the same depth as the surface of my... Uh, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this cutter at about the same depth as uh, the base of this, about a quarter of an inch, and I'm going to take these all down. Where's my switch? Oh, oh, I got to turn it around. I knew something was wrong there. So now what I need to do is I need to brush this thing real, real good, get all of my stuff out of there, and kind of clean that up. Find my little, uh, uh, where is it? My little hand chisel thingy. Yeah, little hand carving tool. Just want to make sure that all those pieces are down. Any little uh, burrs that I have in there, I want to get those, get those gone. It's all going to be black, so it's not that in, important, but I just I want to have all of those little pieces taken care of in there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to reset our router, our big router. We're going to reset that at full depth, and we're going to come back, and we'll cut this all out. All right, let me show you something, guys. Out here, this time of the year in the desert, I don't know if this happens everywhere, but out here... This time of year, the static electricity is crazy. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's, it's like, uh, you know, it, the static electricity is nuts. And so this stuff is getting all over my face shield. I don't know if you can see that flying around in there. It's, it's actually picking it up. It's crazy. Anyway, so uh, this is something that, uh, that I have used in the past. And this is just a dryer sheet, an anti-static dryer sheet. And this should work. And we have a discussion going on outside right now with Dad and uh, a guy that's working on our uh, working on some equipment for us. So that actually not too bad. See, I get credit if this works. Yeah. So let's see if that, uh, so this is just a, you know, just a dryer sheet, but that, that chemical on there, whatever it is, uh, helps if you've got a static thing going on. So let's, we'll see if it works. All right, uh, let's get this thing cut out. Uh oh, I lost my <laughs> Again, we're just flying. All right, um, so what we're going to do, because this is so close right here, this is what I want to cut out first. I want to get this gone, and then I'm going to take care of the rest of it. So I'm going to do this first, and then I'll shut the camera off real quick. Shut the camera off? Well, you, I guess you will shut the camera off oh, real quick. Because okay. I don't want to run out of time too much on this thing. I don't want to run too long. So here we go.
cut quite all the way through. Let me see here. I guess I didn't have it set quite deep enough. All right, so then we will do that. I think I'll set it a little bit deeper on the outside, but that's all right. That's actually, I'm glad that happened. So if you guys want to, if you're a little nervous about that thing breaking loose, then just do that. Set it just a little bit shy of the back, and then, uh, then you can just bust it out like that. Actually, I guess I should have planned it that way. Oh, you did. I, you I guess did. I did plan it that yeah. way. Didn't we talk about that? Yeah. I did plan it that way. All right. So now I'm going to cut out the rest of this, guys. Uh, I'll just start up here and come down to about here, and then we'll do the rest of it off camera. So I'll start at the top right here. Uh, I'm not sure your static thing is working there. No. So I don't know if I'm giving you credit or not. <laughs> Yeah, it uh, kicks off the dust. All right, so it looks like we, uh, yeah, we kind of went through on that one. We got that set just at the right depth. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up off camera. When you come back, this will all be cut out and we'll move on. All right, guys, so uh, I completely cleaned this thing up, brushed it off. I'm now ready to spray. I, I kind of even sanded the edges a little bit. Just kind of try and get all the sharp edges off. Got all my stuff out of there. Now I wanna, I'm going to get ready to spray it with my primer. But check this out, guys. I just, uh, one of our guys told me about this thing. And this is just uh, my Sawzall. And this little deal, if you have uh, some issues with shaking up a can, check this thing out. It's called, still. Oh, I'm moving it around. It's called Mix Quick. Mix Quick, yeah. So you just put it in your Sawzall. I've got the speed down to about one and a half, I think. This just clamps in there. And you wanna mix your can up? Check this out. <laughs> I love toys. This is so cool. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna mix this up and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've been mixing this for about a minute, and uh, I'm sure it's pretty mixed up. I'm gonna have a link to this down in the. Uh, I bought this on Amazon. One of our uh, one of our students actually said that they had trouble, uh, kind of with arthritis and stuff. With um, I know this releases. There it goes. Uh, with arthritis in shaking up a can and stuff. So uh, he got one of these. I think I'm gonna. I, I might get me a cheap sawzall and just set up a jig where this thing is setting straight up and down and be able to just uh, have a little paint mixer. Anyway, it's called Mix Quick. I'll have the description or the link to it on Amazon down below like we talked about on Monday. We, I'll uh, probably have a Amazon affiliate link to it down below. Anyway, it's a pretty cool little, little deal. I love new toys. All right, here we go. We're just going to spray this thing. Now, fortunately, because this is all I don't have to worry about bleeding on this because everything here is going to be painted. It's all going to be painted, which the 
shortly you're going to see Vicky painting. Woohoo! She's excited. She can hardly contain herself. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and keep spraying this thing, guys. Get it all sprayed, and then we'll come back and we'll sand it off. All right, guys, so I've already sanded off the back. Now I'm going to sand off the front and get this, although I wouldn't have to, uh, but I want you guys to see what it looks like, you know, sand it off. The reason I say I wouldn't have to is because this is all going to be painted. Everything here is going to be painted, but we're going to sand it anyway. assistant is going to <laughs> the help. Hand, look at that. Look at that hand assistant. <laughs> Best in the business. Fine, uh, fine sandpaper hand assistant, <laughs> like Waylon Jennings on Dukes of Hazard. All you ever saw was his hands. <laughs> So the reason I had Vicky uh, uh, brush that off in between is because if there's sawdust it gets down in there, this thing could slide. This rubber mat works amazing, but if you get sawdust underneath your workpiece, it will definitely slide on you. All right, let's do the reveal. See how it how it looks. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to do a little bit of touch up on that black right there. A couple little spots. Other than that, oh, I need my little, my little soft brush. Yeah, my little shoe shine brush to get all those little feathers off. Next segment, Vicki will be back and she's going to be painting this. Yay me! Okay, here we go. So I am not a professional pa uh, painter, obviously, but um, we're going to start out with this metallic gold. This is the one shot that we use. Gosh, we've used this quite a bit and uh, 
I yeah, we it. used it on that rolling hill. Yeah, I love yeah. that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the 17 and then the Merry Christmas in gold. And then later on, I'll come back and, well, we won't come back, but you'll see it later. But this, the hat part will be red and then the fur around here and the little ball will be white. So, and they'll see all that on Friday when yes. they come back. But. Yeah, you'll see it all done. I'm not going to do it all on film for time's sake. So, yeah, we're running late. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me, remember, I'm not a painter, so. Oh, that's amazing. I'll stop it. <laughs> and I and uh, I put two coats on it, just because I like the, uh, the brightness. It just finishes it, makes it look good. I don't so. think that the camera really does that metallic gold I don't think it justice. does either. I do Because it definitely is like metal flake metallic gold. It really look looks at it, I'm cool. shaking. You're shaking. Okay, now while I'm do th doing this, I'm going to tell you guys how you're going to win this sign. All right. All right, so this is our fourth year? I think. I think this Third is like four. our fourth year of doing the signs, our Christmas drawing. And <clears throat> in the past, we've done, I don't know what we've done, emails and family pictures, which I really liked the family picture one. Okay put some faces to the names and the people that I talked to on the phone. Um, and then we did a recipe one. And I can't remember what else we did. But this year we're going to make it pretty easy. Um, if you are on YouTube and say you don't have Facebook but you watch the videos on YouTube, all you got to do is put a comment in. Make a comment. On which video? On the... On the I don't know. We didn't Friday's decide. video. <laughs> Friday's, Friday's video. Friday's video. The last video that we're going to do. You're going to leave a comment on Friday's video. And um, if you don't have, if you don't have, uh, if you don't watch it on YouTube, if you go through uh, Facebook. So let's, let me see if I can clarify this. On YouTube, leave a comment. Just leave a comment, a thumbs up. And then on Facebook, if you want to comment on Facebook, you can just like, like and share, like and 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 share the video. So YouTube, just leave a comment on Facebook. A lot of people that watch us on YouTube don't have Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, like and share Friday's video. Not this one. Not one we did last week. This Friday coming up. This coming up Friday, the one where we're gonna do the finish. But you guys got to make sure you watch Friday's video because we're going to do a finish that we've only done one other time. Well, well, we've never done it on camera. Never done it on, that's what I was going to say. Special Never finish. done it on camera. It's a special finish that um, we did a practice one on uh, last week. So you got to make sure you watch Friday's video and leave a comment on Friday's video, which Friday will be the, I don't even know what day Friday is. But it will be the last video showing the finish. Leave a comment. And then on Facebook, on Friday's video, thumbs up, like, and share the video. From that, I will take all the names, and I will be keeping track. And then on the, sometime in the first week of December, we will do a drawing, which is going to be a special drawing, too. Special video for the drawing. Mm -hmm. And then um, from there... We'll send it to you, but we'll give you all those other details. We later. wanted to time it this way. This was Vicky's idea to time it this way so you guys can have it by Christmas. Whoever yeah. wins it actually will have it long before Christmas. We'll ship it out, you know, right after the winner wins it uh, early December. I kind of got that on a little thick, so I'm going to steal some of that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Um, like I said, this part here will be red. Oh, let me back up because I was up. zoomed in. Okay. So the hat part will be red. The fur here around the letters will be white. And then we have all the letters are going to be gold. It's really hard to talk and paint at the same time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no comments from the peanut I'll just gallery. Leave that alone. Good idea. So anyway, you guys, make sure you watch Friday's video. And again, comment on YouTube. Or like and share on Facebook on Friday's video. If you comment on today's video or Monday's video or last Friday's video, it does not enter you into the drawing. And by the way, guys, uh, 
that uh, that little can mixer. Uh, I'll have a bunch of links down below in the description. Um, if you're you know looking to buy any of this stuff, we'll have the Amazon links down below. And uh, like I said before, full disclosure, we get a little commission if you guys want to support us that way. That's terrific. I won't be talking about this uh you know a lot but um i just want to but he's gonna sit there and lean on the table and wiggle the table while i'm painting <laughs> did the table wiggle it did oh sorry about that quit gosh darn it okay all right we're done right we're done so, so thanks for watching and remember the rules friday's video next friday we'll yep. be doing a special finish that's the one you want to leave your comment and if you have any sure. questions or anything, <laughs> obviously, it. you can get a hold of us. Yes, any questions, give uh, send Eric an email or send me one. And, and uh, yeah. And that's that's all. So we will see you on Friday, everybody. Have a great have week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.